it's a haven of harmony. An institute in the middle of Kabul, filled with girls and boys who want to be musicians. Some play Western instruments that they've seen or heard elsewhere. I saw the violin on TV. I like the sound of it. My uncle was a carpenter. I asked him to make me an object so I could attach strings to it, and I tried to play it. Others, like Fikreya, chose the rabab, an ancient string instrument at the heart of Afghanistan's musical tradition. Fikreya joined the school two months ago and has already ambitions of teaching. It's not the same sound. But despite the giggles, Fikreya's life was not always filled with laughter. We had lots of problems, that's why I had to work. People were criticizing me for being a girl and working on the streets. They were saying nasty things. She used to be one of the thousands of children that live on the streets of Kabul. Many of the students who come here were former street children, but for them to attend class, it means a loss of much needed income for the family. So the school had to come up with a compensation plan. The institute is a fruit of Ahmed Sarmast, an Afghan who fled to Australia and returned to his country a few years ago. He says each family of a street child gets $30 per month. It's more than they've been earning on the streets. We had a chat with them, we uh, spoke with our students, asked them questions how much they're making per day by working on the streets of Kabul. and. Uh, putting all those information together, we'd come up with that number. But Ahmed has two main ambitions, to revive Afghanistan's ailing musical tradition. The last performer of this instrument passed away recently. And to form the first philharmonic orchestra of Afghanistan ever. Just two weeks ago, he received five tons of instruments from Germany and other international donors. But Fikre is not aware of these details. She just wants to master her rabab and forget the past. That's why I come here. I want to make something of myself. One day, my country will be proud of me. That's why I chose this instrument. Most of these budding musicians want to do something for Afghanistan. Some are rehearsing. They're performing at the upcoming Peace Jirga their first major contribution to their country. Hamid, Al Jazeera, Kabul.